Well, I guess it's time for me to review Terminator. Huh? What, 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 what the hell is that? I'm... I'm here. I'm... I went back! It, it worked! <laughs> it worked, thank goodness. What? But... Uh, who, who are you? Who, who am I? I? I'm you, fr from the future. M m me? Fr from the future? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, there is no way in hell that you're from the future. Well, well of course I am. Nah, nah, that, that, that can't be possible. I mean, you, for all I know, you're probably just another version of me. You realize there's like, so, like tons of versions of me out there. There's, there's even a version of a chef. Like, come on, like how am I supposed to believe that? H how do you not believe me with, with all the lightning and, and all that stuff? Green screen. I mean, this is a YouTube video after all. C c okay, uh, whatever, whatever. I don't care if you believe me. You have to at least hear my warning. <laughs> oh, okay, fanboy. Uh, what's gonna be so bad? So bad that could ruin this puppet universe where I do reactions and tell about movies. <laughs> what could be so bad that could ruin my future? Von Strucker has returned. What the hell did you just say? I said, Von Strucker will return. How, 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 how do you know my past with him? I have told no one. No one knows about who I really am. How do you know? As I've told you before, I'm from the future. Now, I don't have much time left, so I need to make this quick. If, if you don't prepare for when Von Strucker returns, he's gonna take everything we care about away from us. Our friends will leave us. Everyone we cared about, everyone we trusted, they will all leave. And our YouTube channel, it'll be terminated. If, if you don't do anything, or fix what's to come. Everything, everything will be gone. Von Strucker will return. People, be warned. I don't have much time. Please, please, stop Von Strucker before it's too late. No, 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 no. Von Strucker, he's coming back. No, no. It's too hard for Von Strucker to come in and ruin everything like he always does. Not again. No. I will be prepared for when he returns. So, I'm guessing he's been watching me for a while, huh? And I'm guessing he's the one who kidnapped Muriel all those months ago, huh? Well, now. I'm not gonna let him ruin everything again. Not again. Never again. Hey, Bobbin! Hey, are you about to review? Yeah, I'll be over there in a minute! <laughs> uh, one of the puppets is working for my instructor here. I just need to figure out who. And when I do, I'll take care of them. Very quietly. Very quietly, like the old days. But anyways, Puppet Master! I need you to delete everything you've just seen here. Every single thing that's just recently happened. We cannot let this go public. Because if Von Strucker sees this, this could be the end of Puppet Review stuff. Good. We're at an agreement. Okay, go ahead and start the video. We don't want anyone knowing. Terminator Dark Fate. What? Fitting name, ironically, for this series, because it seems like Terminator is about to be terminated as a franchise. I know that joke was lame. Yeah, especially because of its poor box office, you know. It, 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 opening 29 million? That's that's really pathetic, especially for this film. You know, with James Cameron coming back to the franchise, you would think they would have a bigger opening. But no, I don't think anyone else cares about Terminator anymore. Anymore. And honestly, I don't care about Terminator. I, I, I've i actually never seen any of the Terminator movies. Um, I mean, I, after watching this film, I do actually kind of do want to watch, you know, Terminator 1, Terminator 2. Probably going to skip the other the other ones because it just seems like everything just doesn't matter, especially with this film, especially what they do in the beginning. So it seems like everything is retcon. So all that stuff that happens in the other films, except for the first two, are basically, you know, don't, don't matter anymore. So you, all you got, this is kind of like the third film. 
And surprisingly, you know, I think I was gonna, probably gonna hate this film. Like, when I saw the, the trailer, I thought the visual effects were just pretty bad. They're just so unrealistic. And yes, and for some reasons, yes, the, a lot of the visual effects in this movie are extremely bad. Like, really bad. It's just so uncanny. Like, especially sometimes when someone does a weird super jump, they just jump super high, just look so CGI. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, the visual effects in this. But honestly, I like this film. This was actually a really enjoyable film that actually makes me want to go see the original Terminator. And I'm, I was happy. I mean, I was really shocked that this was actually a pretty well done film, even though there's a lot of just cliche stuff and lines set through the other Terminator movies. I mean, but still, I, this was a good film, and I just, I really hate that so many people just hated on it, and especially because the, uh, you know, opening. And I think maybe it kind of benefited for me to never have seen the other Terminator movies, because I'm not so attached to certain characters, so I'm not really going to care about, you know, what happens at the beginning. Of course, I was, I was super confused, so I had to listen to other couple of people's, you know, reviews to understand what actually happens. But, you know, I, I still enjoyed it, so it, I kind of benefited from not actually seeing the other Terminator movies for me to enjoy this film. So, with all that, my rambling, let's just go ahead and get things started. So, when this is all over, I am going to kill you. I understand. It's Terminator, people. I mean, we, we all know the story. It's basically just a robot from the future comes in to kill a certain person because they're going to have a big impact on the future. That That's basically everything. That, that, that's this movie in a nutshell. Like every single other Terminator movie there is. That That's basically the premise. But this time, someone else from the other future comes in to save her. Um, well, that that's like the other movies as well. So there's not really much of a twist. It's kind of like the Force Awakens of the Terminator franchise. Basically, just trading on the same things that you love and bringing back old characters as old people. Yeah, that we love. Okay, yeah, that, that's my description of the film. So I'm just gonna let the movie go. Yeah, guys, but Derek says it's just basically the Terminator franchise and yeah, that's all as we know. But this time, you know, you know what's different this time? It's it's in Terminator in Mexico. Yeah, that, that's a story that we need to tell. So basically, I, you know, I, I don't really care about any of these characters. Don't really remember anything. I, I remember Grace. That That's the one person. And I remember Old Chick. And that that's it. I think that, that I, I mean, I don't even remember Old Chick's name. Um, I mean, sure, I like these characters. I actually like these characters. They're pretty well good. I mean, sure, when something happens to them, I don't really care. But I, I like the, the characters. I really like Grace. I think she's my favorite one. Um, she's like a, um, she's not a Terminator. She's actually some kind of like a, um, kind of a cyborg basically, but you know, she doesn't have robotic parts on the outside. It's all in the inside. So she's basically a cyborg and she's not as strong as the Terminators, but you know, she's, she's pretty good against these things. And then of course we have the person she's trying to save who is, who's just a nobody. She's just there and just screams like, oh my God, no, no, don't attack me. Don't attack me. Oh, let's run away. She, you know, she, she, either she screams or runs away. That's her thing. She's just the princess in peril that can't do anything. That's that, that chick. I don't, I don't remember her name at all because she was just, she was, she was probably the most bland character. I mean, I mean, it, I mean, you have to have her in the movie because she's like the, the thing the Terminator's trying to kill. So, I mean, I mean, I, I can't even say that you can't, you, you need her in the movie. But she doesn't do anything that's so special or just significant about this film. So honestly, you, 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 I don't. Her characters are really stupid. I, I don't really care about her. And of course, we have the return of. Uh, I, I, as I've said, I've never seen the Terminator movies. So we got a return of the, the old lady person um, who was in the original Terminator movies. I, I know all that stuff. So of course, we're also going to get into spoilers. So a lot of people I know really, really hate the beginning of the Terminator because they kill off Johnny. Um, I mean, because I don't have any, you know, it, it, like, I don't care at all about these characters right now, because I, this is my first Terminator. Yeah, I mean, I was really confused. I, I mean, I knew who they were, and I was really shocked that they killed him off, but because I don't have any attachment to the characters, I was like, oh, okay, they, they killed him. Okay, but I was confused, because I saw Arnold, like, go, going in and killing him. I was like, wait, is that, is that actually him? And then I figured out that there's actually more, different versions of Arnold that look exactly like him, and that's not the Arnold we know. That's not that Terminator we know, it's just a different, like, a, it, it's the same model, it's just not, not him. Which I was a little confused by, because the entire time I thought that was the original version. 
that we seen in the original Terminators. But no, it's not. Yeah, I mean, that, that's probably my fault for not actually seeing any of the movies. So that that confused me, but you know, I mean, the beginning of the movie, I didn't care. I didn't really think about it as much because I just, as I said, I'm not attached to these characters, the original characters. So I didn't care. So the movie was a lot more enjoyable for me, not just thinking about that. So I think that's a why a lot of the Terminator fans hate this movie so much. And I, that's understandable. I, I mean, that's understandable for, you know, a character that people love just gets killed off out of nowhere and just retcons everything. I, that's understandable. But for me, I, 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 just, I just don't care. I really, really don't care. I think, um, uh, the old lady, I'm just gonna call her old lady. Old lady, I think she did a great job. I loved her, her character. She just hunts Terminators down. And that, that that's pretty cool. I, I enjoyed that little thing. I mean, she was the most interesting character with all that stuff. She's just a badass and just on the run from the law, all, all, you know, you know, it's, um, a criminal of all 50 states. That that's That's interesting. I really like that about her. Of course, we have Grace, so, I mean, I talked a little bit about her, but Grace, you know, she, she, she's from the future, you know, um, because, you know, she has, she's from the future, blah, 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 the Terminator War, you know, Skynet is not a thing, but we have Legion, don't confuse with the X-Men series, we got Legion, another evil corporation that makes Terminators, oh boy, and these Terminators are even more evil than ever, because they can honestly not even be killed, like, one bit. You can blow them up, throw them off a cliff, and run them over with your car, but no, no scratches on them. Even put them in a power generator. These things won't die. These bastards just won't die at all. Not not, not one bit. N nothing. You, you can't do anything against them. And I'm really shocked that they were able to kill them. But of course, an EMP. An EMP is the thing that will destroy the Terminator out of everything in this film. An EMP? The, the, that's what destroys the Terminator? That just felt super unsatisfying. It was just a way for us to feel sad. Oh boy, G Gracie died. So, you know, you, you know, this is a way to kill off Gracie. It's like, come on, what? you have to kill her off. She's like my favorite character in the movie. And of course you had to kill her off. And you killed off the second coolest character, which was the return of robot Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, yeah, it wasn't him, but we got another version of him. I liked him. And of course, of course, he had to say his famous line, I'll be back. But no, he said, I won't be back. <laughs> We're clever. It's not that clever, because if you're going to do something like that earlier on, then don't make the lady say, I'll be back earlier on in the film. Okay? Okay. Like, I mean, I liked Arnold. He was a cool Terminator. He was a badass. I loved every single scene he was in. He was pretty funny, too. Just, uh... A robot that has, you know, a non-sex relationship? I don't know how that works. I mean, he doesn't feel love, so of course he's not fitting a so he doesn't care about physical love. And can they can, can the fit like they they've hugged a lot, so can they can they not feel that he's a robot? Have they not like occurred to them like when they're touching him, like feeling metal parts? So they never like son never like did this to his dad, you know? Eh. Has he never done that to him? And he's like, ow, 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 what, what the heck? My, my hand's broken. No, seriously? Okay, I'm, I'm just kind of shocked that he's able to keep this up. But, of course, he learns how to... Well, he doesn't learn how to love. He learns how to be human, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, what, what do Terminators do after their mission is done? I mean, I mean, of course, I, I don't know. Like, maybe two people know about this, but... I mean, we always just see Terminators trying to kill, kill, kill. Do we ever see what happens when Terminator you know, is done? Do, can they go back to the future? I... Wait, can they go back to the future? I, I don't even know. Possibly. Get, comment down below. Tell me some stuff about Terminator. I don't care if you spoil the f other films for me because I'm going to see it anyways, but I don't, like, at this point, who, who cares about spoilers for the original movie? I mean, it's been since, like, what, 19-something-something? Something? Like, I don't really care about spoilers at this point, and I, so just comment down below anything you know about Terminator just to help me out a little bit because I'm, I'm a little confused, okay? So basically, this movie is just the movie of running away. All they do in this film is run away. Run away from the Terminator. Run away from that. Try to fight him, but they can't do that because he's pretty much God at this point. I wonder if God could actually destroy the Terminator. Because apparently, the, the Terminator is God unless, you know, he gets a giant electrical thing up in his, his head. That, then he's going to die. <laughs> yep, that, that's the only way of killing a Terminator for, for some reason, okay. Um, how do you even make something that, that's pretty much indestructible? Um, I like the Terminator in this movie. He's pretty cool. I mean, he's not funny. He's just some kind of evil Mexican dude. Um, uh, I mean, he, he, it, it's really interesting what they could do. Um, it took me a while to figure this out. He's actually, like, the Terminator can, like, take off his skin. So, he's, like, it's, it's not two Terminators he can turn into. It's just, it's still him. 
He's just going like out of his skin. So basically, it, it for example, if my puppeteer takes off my head, so basically it's just the hand, of course. So uh, like uh, example. So basically, if he takes off my hand, I'm just basically like this. You know, I'm looking at my skin and stuff, just like that. But of course, so basically, it's kind of like this. There's two separate entities, except you know, my, I can't you know do anything unless he's in my body. What? Whatever. Let, let me get it back inside. Ha! Huh. Well, that was that was a weird experience, but okay. Yeah, you, you get my point, and I think that's pretty cool. Well, they tried to avert your expectations. You know, they originally saying, you know, you're gonna get bored to the Lord, our Lord and Savior of the Rebellion, but no. Of course, but, 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 no, it's a twist. Here's the twist, people, that, you know, she's gonna lead the rebellion. Oh, my goodness, yeah. What a twist, like, why couldn't you just say this in the beginning? I, I, oh, what, why? Why lie to her and then tell her this? Does it really matter for us to have a twist like that? It, it, it don't matter, it, it doesn't matter at all that there's a twist. And the only reason Grace is actually there to save her is because, well, yes, yeah, she's part of the resistance, and also, she was kind of like her stepmother, so... Yeah, that, that's a big reason why Grace cares so much about this random Mexican chick. And yeah, it's about, also it's about, you know, trying to cross the border, which could raise some red flags. I, I mean, I bet John Trump will just tweet a whole bunch of stuff about, oh, just stupid Mexicans trying to work. This movie's about Mexicans trying to cross our border and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, but it's just trying to get across the border, which is kind of funny. That's like a half of the movie as well. Some of the dialogue is kind of... Uh, dumb but you know i think the action scenes are pretty well done i i was like rooting for the characters like yeah d d ooh, yeah, yeah I, I felt that hit you know in imax i saw it in imax but the annoying thing about that imax screen is i have no idea how this is possible for some reason there is a smaller screen in the imax i don't i don't know how to you know say it. it's like there was a small like square also on the imax screen that was like the the film the movie is projected you know on the entire screen but there's a smaller box. It's like an invisible box where you could see it. It's a, a weird lighting glare. And it was just so distracting. Because like one side you could see it like glaring. Like you could see a square within the film. So it was just super distracting just looking at the movie. And then because I always, I always have to like, take a little turn. And looking at the, the uh, square. I, I don't know why the movie theater didn't catch that. I don't, I, how do you even do that to an IMAX screen? But uh, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, so I just think the action scenes were really pretty well done. Even though there's a lot of CGI in it, that was just really, really bad. That I just, no, no, just no. S stop with the CGI. It, it's pretty trash. Um, but yeah, um, what, what would I say? What's my verdict? I like, as I said, I like this film. Would I recommend go see it? Yes, go see it. It's enjoyable. Even if you're not a Terminator movie, I mean, if you're not a Terminator fan, I think you'll find a lot of enjoyment out of this film, like I did, and I'm not a Terminator fan, but I think you'll find a lot of enjoyment out of it, even for, like, for newcomers. It's like a mini reboot. So, like, you don't really need to know much. I mean, sure, you might need to know a couple of things, but honestly, it's a good, solid film that I really hate that people are giving so much hate, and sadly enough, we're not going to continue the story at all. Because honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing another Terminator movie with these, but, well, well with, after this film, because it was good. A $29 million opening is very disappointing, and especially because it had a budget of $150. So, it's probably not going to have a sequel, which... I really hate that because I think it's already been playing in every single other country. So, so far, it's pretty much failing and I, I hate that. I really do hate that. So, honestly, if you haven't seen the film, please go see it. Please go support this film because it's actually pretty good and I think you'll actually enjoy this film a lot. So, yeah, I think I hit most of the beats for it. Um, hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's really it. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.